Hey, what's up, everybody, and good morning. Uh, happy Monday to all you folks. Well, I made it. I made it back to uh, Phoenix from Dallas. Um, only have one issue. The truck stalled out. Uh, but I shut it off just to see if it will start again. It didn't start, so I had to keep cranking it over and it finally started. Could get that taken care of. Um, yeah, um, definitely got to get the oil changed. Um, today I'm going to do that. I have no choice. Uh, I've left my gloves in the damn truck, but yeah, you see, the, when it's like that, when the oil's blacker than me, uh, <laughs> and sludgy like that, yeah, it's time to get it changed. Um, yeah, another thing that I, uh, I also, uh, oh, let me check on this, uh, remember back in uh, Dallas, I was uh, put the uh, Gorilla Tape over the bumper, right? Okay, it's still holding up, but it's still coming loose. I'm gonna get that uh, fixed. We gotta get that fixed because I can't afford to drive a truck for missing parts, you know? Uh, other things, the strut, the U bolt is still loose. Gotta definitely get that fixed. Uh, fuel filter, definitely gotta get changed out. It's starting to get black like me. Um, another thing that's going bad that I noticed, okay? These steer tires were brand new. I got them put on here at the Lowe's. And now my alignment is so jacked up, it's starting to wear again, as you guys can see along here. So that tells you that my truck is pulling to the right. All right, and you see that. I mean, these are perfectly good tires. So I'm going to have to add that to the list of repairs. I got to get the alignment done. That's, I mean, these tires are brand new. All right, brand spanking new, and I can't afford to have tires get worse than what it is now, or alongside here, okay? Uh, oh, man, that's not even supposed to slide like that. This little thing is holding my um, brake chamber um, mount together, and that's, that's loose, that's faulty. Um, leaking, holy hell. Yeah, it's overdue for an oil change. All of that down there got to get replaced. Yeah, I'm overdue for that. As you guys can see, it's telling me, hey, change me out. Yeah, it's time. Uh, I told the guys I wanted to do another load going into California and back, but unfortunately, I'm going to have to call them back and tell them, uh, delay that, get the oil change. All right. It's like you guys see, I'm still here at the Loves where I had my oil change before. All right, now I'm going to show you guys, see, like I said, on the other tire, still, uh, these are brand new steer tires, but over there, that other one, don't look too good. It's pulling. All right, so, I'd rather get the, the pump to this is not working. They couldn't repair it when I was at the uh, other shop in Tucson at Cornwell. So, what I'm going to show you guys next is um, a DEF system. I, I noticed this when I stopped last night. God damn. Where the cable at that's supposed to hold this damn thing? Uh, all right. Uh, apparently, these guys work on the trucks. They don't put them back the way they're supposed to. They're supposed to go up in, in there to catch this from falling off the truck. Uh, that's why you always, you guys always pre trip your trucks, gentlemen. And ladies, all right, you're starting to see that. That means that the, the pump down there is uh, spewing it back. I'm gonna have to, I gotta try to find uh, I gotta find a way of getting in there to look. All right, it looks like this battery right here is the faulty one again. I mean, like I said, all of these got changed out in Tucson. All right, I'm trying to look for my um, gonna need the truck. Because when I was underneath it the other day, I saw that uh, I had residue build up on my uh, on my death valve down there. Yep, there it is. I don't know if you guys can see that. Uh, see that that little bit of white stuff down there? That's uh, death build up around the the pump down there for the death system. I'll have them to look at that later. So this is part of my uh, what I do on my pre-trips. 
I do a thorough pre-trip, not just the engine only, I do everything. As you guys can see, the fuel box keeps flying open. I mean, this is the main thing I rely on here. Uh, as let me know up in the cockpit if I got something going bad. I mean, I gotta understand why this is not locking. I'm not supposed to be free like that, but I'll have them let's take a look at that. This side belt's good, uh, but the other side are frayed. All right. Oil, your coolant, your hoses, your belts, those are primary things that you would check as a driver when you're doing your pre-check. For me, I check the gearing box, everything. Um, uh, brake chamber, you know, especially with the little pan here. I also check my castle nut, which is no, also known as a cotter pan. I check to see if that's in place. Like you guys can see, my boot is off alignment right now. That's what uh, causes the truck to shake a little. I might have to get that uh, looked at when I take it to the dealership. I'm gonna have to dealership and get it done. Um, but overall, Truck's been running fine. I had it uh, only cut off on me once when I was coming back from Dallas. Um, um, and that's because I turned it off just to see if it would start back over because the other driver at Dallas, you know, the guy that helped me clean off the, uh, you know, the, um, uh, God damn, I'm tongue twisted. Um, damn. <laughs> the goddamn starter. <laughs> we uh, touched up on the wiring and all that stuff. Now, um, I came over here to, you guys, to show you guys something too that, that I also look at. Um, I, al I always check my turbo stand, I mean valve, sensor. You know, I make sure that's still in place because I don't like the sound that this truck is making, a loud ass uh, whistling sound. But overall, yeah, I just definitely got to get the alignment done because right now, like I said, these are brand new tires and there's no way supposed to be doing this already as telling me that the alignment up front is no good it's out of alignment no 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 this is uh part of the pre I just wanted to let you guys know that i made it back here in phoenix but uh I was gonna try to roll a dice and take another load before i put it in the shop but apparently that ain't gonna happen after you guys saw how bad relax and you guys can see down in there oh my god my fist is I gotta get all that. Oh, hello. Yeah, I can't take it low now. Uh, yeah, see all of that? That's bad. That is very, very bad. I gotta get it. Uh, yeah, I gotta go over the dealership. So, uh, so much for me trying to make another good pay and run. Um, well, I'm at Tolleson right now, which is AKA Phoenix. Um, definitely gotta get this uh, bumper. That's gonna come off. You guys see, this is the bumper from the old truck that got uh, destroyed, getting towed back to Tucson. I gotta get this fixed before it fly off on me. Uh, so there you guys have it. This is what I do before and after each trip. Because there's always something else that's gonna happen. That's why you, it's important to do your, uh, your pre-trips before and your post trip after each trip all right because there's things that will happen that you won't notice until the following day that's why it's always good to do a, a post trip so there you guys have it as you guys can still see my cab is still off alignment um yeah things like that you know me i check my airbags I mean, this is the secondary. Now, the primary one is the one that leaks the most. I'm going to have them take a look at the airline system for all of that. Because every time when I turn the truck off, like I just turn it off now, nine times out of ten, when I start it up, it's going to give me a low air indication. That's because of these airbags. Uh, so there, there you guys have it. Yep. This is what I do. I go all out when I do my pre-trip. <laughs> I pre-trip things that's, you know, that any other driver won't take a look at, but me, I do, because I'm the one that's driving this truck. I'm the only one that has been driving this truck. 
But um, you start to see stuff like that. That's a sign right down there on, on the ground. And stuff like this, I'm telling you, get the alignment checked out. Change out the fuel filter. Definitely gotta get the oil tank taken care of because that is, uh, that ain't good. That ain't good at all. So, for me taking another trip out of here, that's a no-go. See down in there, that's bad. That's very bad. God damn, shame on me. But then again, this is an old truck. So all that wear and tear, very old. My death system, uh, I gotta get that looked at too. Only at the dealership, they can do all of that. So, there you guys have it. So, uh, I'm back. I was gonna go over to the uh, to the truck wash over there and, and wash her up, but I'm gonna wait on all of that stuff because now, uh, as I just showed you guys, all of that stuff that's new. Let me turn this damn thing on. It's already hot. It's uh, it is uh, what seven. 7.45 in the morning, and it's already uh, 91 degrees outside. You definitely feel it. It's supposed to be 102 today. Uh, yeah, so going to let the guys know, hey, um, no loads. Got to take it to the shop. <laughs> I mean, I was trying to get another load in, uh, another round trip to California back because uh, I'm going to take home time this week, uh, this weekend. But, um, yeah, see, and that, that kills me, too. All right, see that right there? It's telling me watch the fluid is level is low. That's because the pump is not working. Um, I just showed you guys in this part of the engine. That pump is not working. Uh, I can press to try to wash the windows with the truck. It ain't going to work because the pump is not pushing it through the uh, holes. And on that note, uh, man, I hate it. I hate it. Uh, but when you see a, <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I got to definitely get the oil changed in this bastard. Uh, I mean, you see it coming out like that. I mean, the oil filters are no good. They fill to capacity. You guys already saw my fuel filter. That is... <laughs> dirty as hell, it's black as me, the oil is black as me and sludgy. Um, I'm gonna go over here to the Loves. It's, uh, I'm gonna call these guys right quick, because uh, I'm right here where I got the oil changed last time, but I see I need more, more than just that. Um, uh, if I should get it down here, go down to Tucson. Um, I'll get back to you guys on that. Uh, well, anyways, you guys, have a great start of your week. Happy Monday to you guys all. I just wanted to really let you guys know that I made it back to uh, the Phoenix area. Uh, I got back here yesterday. Uh, got, got here. I was tired as hell, but I'm back. Later.